It is Blitzball Battle for the award show presented to you by our friends over at DraftKings. And what a remarkable season. Congratulations to McFlurry Power hoisting that banner right after floorball. Now they're Blitzball champions as well, and they're the team that everybody has to knock off. But in addition to being named best team, there's several individual honors we want to give away as well today. So let's start it off with a guy I like to call J.O. That's not Jimmy O'Brien. Jolly Olive, take it away. Hello everyone, I am Jolly Olive. I am ready and excited to present the first award of the night. It is the best jersey award. This one should be really interesting because we have two new uniforms out on the field in Wugas and Del Caribe, also Forgotten Rotten. Got a nice little paint job on their uniform, but who knows, a classic may walk away with it like Baggage or We Got Ice. Let's hear from all the nominees. Let's see those jerseys. And the nominees for best jersey are Baggage, Del Caribe, Forgotten Rotten, Love Yous, Hook Line Sinkers, We Got Ice, Wugas, Mac Flurry Power. And the winner of Best Uniform in Blitzball Battle 4 is not We Got Ice. It is Del Caribe in their first tournament wearing the new uniforms. Let's hear from Joe McFly, the man himself, on winning this award. Thank you guys so much for voting for us, for having the best jersey. I'm telling you guys, it meant a lot to me, the fact that we're getting this award as Del Caribe on the map. It was very important for me to change from Pinterest Strong, and for Lewis too, change from Pinterest Strong to change the Del Caribe, to give us a sense of unity, a sense of place. And I love the colors, more to come, more stuff. Appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for voting for us, for having the best jersey. All right, guys, I'm here to introduce the award for the Bruzy. The Bruzy goes to the best defensive player of the tournament. Let's see who's in the running. And the nominees for the Bruzy are Collins Ricochet off the ceiling. Jake's catch at extras, Collins diving catch with runners on, and Jimmy Norp armpit catch. The winner for the best bruisey, the best play of this tournament, has got to be Jake laying out in the baggage v. Wooga's game. He left it all out on the field. One of the best plays I've seen in the warehouse. Coming in second place in a tie, Collins Stone's diving catch and Jimmy Norp's armpit catch. Well worthy candidates, but Jake comes away with the award. Let's hear from him. Jake, what if I told you that you won the award for the Bruzy in BB4 for your catch against the Wugas? I thought I had a chance at the Bruzy, if I'm being honest, because I'm, I'm Bruzy. Um, it's a good catch. I wanted that catch, uh, but you know, everyone knows that's not what I'm about. Uh, baggage is coming back, and that was the start of it. We just. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. Great. Well, I am honored to introduce perhaps our most distinguished award, and that is Jersey City's Finest. Who has the look, who has the swag, and who best embodies what we do here in the warehouse? The winner will have the right to say that they are Jersey City's Finest. And the nominees for Jersey City's Finest are <laughs> K-Mac, Norp, Nikki, or Marshall. And the winner of the Jersey City's Finest goes to Jimmy Norp, the most charismatic man on the warehouse floor. Coming in as the runner-up, K-Mac, my pick. I think if he didn't shave, he probably would have won the award because, you know, winning the whole tournament helps. But let's hear from Jimmy Norp himself on this award. What is up, everybody? Wanted to thank everybody for voting me for Jersey City's Finest. That sounds hilarious, just hearing me say that out loud. Uh, I think I'm pretty drippy, but all my friends say that I have no drip, so this award definitely does mean a lot to me to prove all of them wrong. Um, I also want to thank my mom for telling me that I'm handsome, and I want to thank all the other competitors in this tournament for having absolutely no drip and looking so bad that the fans had no choice but to vote me for this award. Go Wolgas. Well, up next, we have a very unique award, an award I'm very excited about. It's the most iconic photo. I want to shout out our photographer, Taylor Jackson, because she took so many great photos during the process of Blitzball Battle 4. And your vote is very important here because whichever photo wins in the end will be printed and framed and hung up in the warehouse. So let's see those nominees. And the nominees for the most iconic photo are...
And the winner for best photo taken during Blitzball Battle 4, no shock here, it is Dan Rourke during his celebration for his walk-off heroics against Baggage. Baggage actually got second place in this category for their nice catch from this exact same game, Baggage versus Rugas. Unfortunately, our lovely photographer, Taylor Jackson, has rejected the opportunity for, you know, an award speech, which I think is ridiculous, but onwards. We'll go to the next award now. Okay, up next, it is time for the luckiest loser. Now, this was previously the most heartbreaking moment. It's full of a lot of sad moments. We don't love to do this. But we gotta do it, don't we? So let's go ahead and take a look at the nominees for Luckiest Loser. And the nominees for Luckiest Loser are on, yeah. Jimmy Walkoff to Rourke, <gasps> Drew gives up Championship Walkoff, Del Caribe blows 7 1 lead. Marshall first pitching appearance. Well, coming in first place for the award you don't want to win, the luckiest loser, is a man who I had a walk-off home run off, and Dan Rourke did as well. Jimmy O'Brien is our luckiest loser, giving up the walk-off to the Woogas. 78% of votes went to Mr. O'Brien. Tough look for him. Let's hear from the luckiest loser himself. Jimmy, you are the winner of the luckiest loser. Hmm. What do you have to say? Thank you, everyone. Congrats to Dan Rourke. Okay, with that behind us now, let's change gears and move to a more fun award. This is the best mic'd up soundbite. These should be good. And the nominees for best mic'd up are... Oh, you goddamn motherfucker. But I could have been shot in war, so I will live. Yeah. Also thinking I make heroes out of my employees. And uh, Jolly and Joe's and Rourke is primed to be on that fucking list right now. Time. Well, let's not. I've been too humble. I've been too humble. I'm sick of it. I'm All the right. best there is. Oh. Right? <laughs> Fuck out of here, you worthless piece of fucking Nothing shit. Hurt. We're chilling. Yep. Keep that speed down. You're good. Yep. You got this guy right now. And the winner for the best mic'd up segment, no shock here, it is Dan Rourke. He said he could have been shot and more, so he will live. I'm going to leave out all the curse words because we want this video to get monetized and not banned in several countries. Uh, Jimmy coming in second saying that he was going to make heroes out of employees. I'm on that list with Joe's McFly and so is Dan Rourke now. Speaking of Dan Rourke, let's hear from him on this award win. Yo, what's up everybody? Dan here. Uh, so I was just told I won best mic'd up moment for Blitzball Battle 4 for my comment about being shot in war, which I thought was one of the dumbest things I ever said, but apparently you guys got, got a kick out of it. So love you all. Thank you very much. Well, we all love Peter Moylan and Chris Rose up in the booth. They've given us plenty of legendary moments and lines. It's so hard to be able to pick just one, but guess what? We're going to do it. So this award is for the best booth line. And the nominees for best booth line are... What? Well, wait a second. Did he say that Trevor Bluth is delaying lunch for all of us? Yes. Well, fuck Trevor then. You've got to go to the split, Jimmy. Come on, Tim. Come on, Tim. Ah! He threw the split! And Dan said, fuck you! I think there's nothing worse you can do to a reliever wow. than put him in a situation with the bases loaded and a chance I to mean, lose a game, having never thrown a fucking blitz ball in his life. As a pitching coach, I see that, and I get a little bit of a flicker in my nutsack. Well, the winner for the best booth line is the one that I voted for, the most iconic moment. He threw the split. And Dan said, fuck you. I mean, what an iconic line. Peter owning up to his own mistake. As a pitching coach, you know, I have to respect that from him. Let's hear from him on this big win. Wow. What an honor. Let me tell you. First of all, I want to apologize to Jimmy. I don't know what comes over me when I get in that booth. I just become a different person. Secondly, I'm nothing without you players. You players make me and Rosie who we are. Without you guys, we are just a couple of old dudes talking about Blitzball. So thank you to everybody. Thank you for this award. It means so much to me. Up next, we have a classic award, the Fan Favorite Award. It really says a lot about you as a fan as well. Are you a fan of the heel players like K-Mac and Colin Stone on McFlurry Power? Or do you love your baby faces on We Got Ice and Jack and Zoe? Let's see all the nominees for Fan Favorite. And the nominees for Fan Favorite are Nikki, Dalton, Jimmy O'Brien, Jake, Trevor, Marshall, Jack, Zoe, K-Mac, Colin, me, Drew, Dan Canobio, Lou Dab, Joe's McFly, Dan Rourke, 
and Jimmy Nort. And the winner for the fan favorite award for Blitzball Battle 4 is none other than Jimmy Norp. He's the favorite in my heart as well. The Woogas dominated this category. Dan Work came in second place. Shoutouts to him and my old man, Dan Canobio, in third place. But let's hear from the winner himself, Jimmy Norp, on his award. Huge shout out to everybody who voted for me as the fan favorite this year. This is an award that really is special and does mean a lot to me. I mean, being the new guy in BB4, I wasn't entirely sure of what to expect. I wasn't sure how you guys as the fans would react to me being in the warehouse. So the fact that you guys like watching me play and have shown me so much love and so much support really is just crazy and incredible to me, uh, especially because there's so many other great people and great personalities in that warehouse who could have won this award. The fact that I'm the guy with it, it, it's pretty cool, honestly. So just thank you guys again for all the love and support you guys have shown me. Now, this is a special award. The Thorn. This goes to the poor soul who caught the most flack all tawny from good old Chris Rose up in the broadcast booth. And here are your nominees. And the nominees for The Thorn are um, Kevin, Joe's McFly, Trevor Plouffe, and Dan Rourke. And the winner of the Thorn Award, I mean, if you didn't vote for Umpire Kev, what are you doing? 78% of you voted for Kev. You know, I'm actually reading this on his birthday, so everyone's being really nice to him today, if that's a saving grace. But yeah, Rosie was the meanest to that. Um, let's hear from Kev himself to see what he thinks. How does it feel to be the first ever winner of the Thorn Award? Every rose has its thorns, every night has its dawn, and every cowboy sings a sad, sad song. Well, the last award I'm presenting today is the award for Best commercial. How about that? John Boy Media does ads better than anybody else. There were 15 ads to choose from, so narrowing it down to just four was incredibly difficult. And what made it so difficult was the work of Zach Esposito, Z-Man behind the camera, who edited all those commercials. Let's see the nominees because, as we all know, I've never lost a bet that I've won. And the nominees for best commercial. Mr. DraftKing with Joe's. Mr. DraftKing with Jack Doyle. Panic is the seat geek. Shady Ray lurking through the warehouse window. And the winner for best commercial during BB4 goes to Joe's McFly's DraftKings commercial. He's never lost a bet that he is won, I'm telling you people. Let's hear from the winners. A game of chance, my friend. 50-50 chances, none better. Let's not forget, I have never lost a game in which I've won. Thank you guys so much for voting for that to be the most favorite commercial, uh, the Draft King. Appreciate you guys. That was really fun to film, and I would hope to do a lot more doing that. Best moment. This is always one of the best awards to look back on. So many memorable and unique things took place over the four days of BB4 that are deserving of this award. Let's hear the nominees. And the nominees for best moment are Zoe's Reggie Jackson moment, Colin hit by pitch, then fake homer, Jake's third strikeout of Trevor, Rose and Peter jumping for joy in the booth. And the winner of the best moment from Blitzball Battle 4 came in our very first game. Zoe going Reggie Jackson mode, hitting three home runs, hitting us with the ice in his vein pose. A worthy winner there. Colin Stone comes in second place with his hit by pitch into home run. I couldn't do that if you gave me 100 tries. But let's hear from Zoe on his win. Zoe, what if I told you you won the Blitzball 4 award for best moment for your three home runs? I would say that's great. I wish I did more, but thank you. Do you feel like Reggie Jackson? I kind of look like him with the same glasses. Okay, now it's time to introduce my final award of tonight, and it's a biggie. Best game. This was a really tough choice, and I can't wait to find out who you all voted. But first, let's find out the nominees. And the nominees for best game are game nine, We Got Ice vs. Love Yous, back and forth. Game 10, Kenobi vs. Trevor, Hostility. Game 12, Rourke Walkoff. Game 15, Mac Flurry, Crown Champs. And the winner of Best Game, boy, Dan Rourke is just stealing the show. He wins for this one as well, his walk-off victory against Baggage in the first round of the playoffs. That was the best game as voted by you guys. Coming in second place, one of my personal favorite games, the We Got Ice and Love Yous back and forth in their playoff game. Those two teams play all the time, but Baggage v. Lugas was very special. Let's hear from the winners. Yo, what's up, guys? Dan here again for uh, winning Best Game, which is still so crazy. I need my uh, walk-off against Baggage. First and foremost, could not have done anything without my boy Jimmy Norp. And yo, get ready because the Woogers are coming back. BB5, I give you my word, will be, I mean, more particularly me because Jimmy Norp's the man. He's already good to go. I'll be back better than ever for BB5. We're winning it all. Thank you, guys. 
Well, congratulations to all of our award winners so far today. A, a few more left, and that includes the Wall Breaker Award. That's right, the best bat of Blitzball Battle 4, the one who is knocking it off the wall or knocking it into the broadcast booth. Essentially, the Barry Bonds of Blitzball Battle 4 without the over-enlarged head. The nominees are... And the nominees for the Wall Breaker are... Jimmy Norp, Trevor Plouffe, me, Zoe D'Amalia. And the winner of the Wall Breaker Award is none other than... Jimmy Norp of Woogas, congratulations. You got 85% of the vote in your first ever true franchise warehouse games. Jimmy, congrats. What is up, guys? Jimmy Norp here from the Woogas. I wanted to come on here and give a huge thank you to everybody who voted me for the Wall Breaker Award for BB4. I had an absolute blast the time of my life getting the chance to play in my first Blitzball battle. Huge thank you to my guy Dan Rourke as well. Him being another absolute force. And that Wooga's offense just makes my job so much easier as a hitter. But, you know, we've got a taste of what it's like to be in a Blitzball battle now, and we're coming for that banner in BB5, so big things ahead. Be ready for it. Thanks again, and Jake sucks. Next one is an award that's near and dear to my heart. It is the Bruised Body Award. That's the person that will literally run through a wall in order to gain victory. The one that will slide on the cement. Get those strawberries on your knees and elbows and maybe even dot up your chin as well. Who is the toughest kid around? It's time to find out. Your nominees are... And the nominees for Brew's Body are Jake, Dalton, Drew, Colin. The winner of the Blitzball Battle 4 Bruised Body Award, formerly known as the Gold Glove, none other than Colin Stone. Congrats, Colin. Thank you to everyone who voted for me uh, for the Bruised Body Award for Blitzball Battle 4. Um, thanks to the Warehouse Ceiling for providing all the opportunities. All right, we have arrived safely at the last two big old awards. Now, in seasons one, two, and three, the best pitcher was the Sighing Award winner. It, it would make sense. But now we're up in our game. We are giving away the first ever Plastic Surgeon Award. The best dude who would surgically throw the ball over the plate, get people to swing and miss, get people out. Here are your nominees. And the nominees for Plastic Surgeon are Colin Stone, Jimmy Norp, Dan Kenobio, and some jerk off named Nikki Cass. The winner of the Plastic Surgeon, formerly known as the Cy Young Award, Garnering 95% of the tally. That was even more than his teammate K-Mac, who won the best goalie award in floorball. Yes, none other than Colin Stone. Congratulations, my man. It's a huge honor to win the Plastic Surgeon Award. It's been one of my goals since I started playing. Uh, I believe I'm the only player not named Jack Doyle to get voted for this award. Uh, so it's a huge honor. Uh, thanks to everybody for voting for me. And finally... The biggest individual honor you can get in Blitzball history. Only Jake Storiali and Trevor Plouffe and Sammy Reeser know what it's like to say, I am the baddest ass in the warehouse. I am the MVP. Who will join them? Let's find out. And the nominees for MVP are Colin Stone, Jimmy Norp, K Mac, Trevor Plouffe. And the winner of the Blitzball Battle for MVP. Oh my good, it is going to be one heck of a party at Arkansas State. Colin Stone! Congratulations on winning your third big time award of the night. What else do you have to say? MVP. Who would have guessed it? Huge thank you to John Boy Media for having me out and allowing me to play in the tournament. Uh, I also want to say thank you to the crew for everything that they do in making it possible. Um, and huge thanks to the fans for voting for me. Well, that'll do it for another season of your Blitzball Battle Awards. Congratulations to all the award winners and Team McFlurry Power for hoisting that banner yet again to go next to that floorball one as well. We've got so much more coming your way this season in the inaugural chase for the Warehouse Cup. Still to come, season two of Ball in Play, another edition of Floorball, and then once again this fall, it'll be Blitzball Battle 5. We cannot wait to bring you that content. So thanks so much for joining. I'm Chris Rose on behalf of our amazing production team here at John Boy Media. Thanks so much for watching the DraftKings Blitzball Battle 4 Award Show. Give yourselves a nice pat on the back. 
to all the award winners.